Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we will be reviewing Transformers Universe Classics Skywalk. And yeah, he is a black jet. And I have three Skywarps in my collection. Because he's always a jet, and he's a G1E jet. You're probably wondering, why has he got a bit broken off? Well, when I misplaced this guy, he kind of got broken right there. But otherwise, the jet mode is still intact. If I ever get another jet mode, maybe I'll replace him and pass him on or something. But otherwise, he's good for this review. Now, for comparison, here he is next to my other Jet Skywarp, and this is Transformers Robots in Disguise Skywarp, which is a redeco of Starscream. And the moment I saw this guy, I picked him up for my Robots in Disguise collection. He is a good-looking Skywarp repaint. I wish they would have done a Thundercracker repaint. Then I would have owned both Thundercracker and Skywarp. But he is what he is, and I like him. But now that's all there is to say for comparison. Let's transform him. Disconnect the legs from the jet. Fold them down like so, straighten them out, flip these sections in, and his legs are all done. Disconnect the arms from the nose cone section, split them, pull them down, turn around the head, because he's got fidgetable head syndrome in jet mode. Sorry I didn't show that off, and there we got... Skywalk in his robot mode. And this is a good looking Skywarp. He's got one thing that's creepy about him. He's got the Starscream smirky face, if you see that. It's cute for a repaint. And I just love how cute this little figure is. And now we're going to compare him next to Robots in Disguise Skywarp. In robot mode. And this figure is from 2015. So yeah, this is an old school figure. My last Robots in Disguise review, I said these figures from Transformers. I didn't say in the review, but I posted when this figure was released. These Robots in Disguise figures were released to the US of A. They came out in 2015. That's like a couple years ago. That's like five years ago. Five or six years ago before 2021, huh? And that's pretty cool if I do say so myself. And why do I like Transformers Robots in Disguise? I found the characters interesting and adorable. I like the Mohawk Sideswipe. I did like Bumblebee. And I loved Grimlock from that cartoon. If I ever find a Robots of Disguise Grimlock, he will go in my collection. And if I find a Bumblebee, too. But I do have Skywarp, Sideswipe, and Windblade. But now, for comparison, here is... My Legends Skywarp next to Robots in Disguise Skywarp. They both look pretty good, if I do say so myself. You're probably wondering, where did I get this Legends Skywarp from? Well, I got this at DG when it first came out. I think these figures were about five or six bucks. And I picked these guys up because... I loved Transformers. 
and I love these little transformers. They are adorable. Is a Legend Skywarp worth adding to your collection if you're a Transformers fan? Yes, pick him up. And if you can find the Legend Skywarp to go with him with your Starscream and Thundercracker, find Thundercracker to go with your Skywarp and Starscream, pick him up. He is worth it. And that's all there is to say for this review. Very quick review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.